Making kui purely by hand is not a profitable trade. I'm not the last one to make kui by hand, but I can say that we are one of the last few. My grandfather started this business from his home kitchen in the village in the 60s. What they started making, local traditional cakes called kui. And from there on, uh, my aunt, my parents, my mom started making them as well. My favourite kuih is kuih lapis uh, because it's so colourful, it's so chewy, it's soft. And the way we eat here when I grow up is to peel layer by layer. And in the market, usually you find them in nine layers of different colour. For us, we make them ten layers. So it's, I got one more layer of enjoyment. I'm in this because I want to preserve the tradition. I want my kids to see how I grew up. I'll take over the work after I go to university. The day I want to retire, uh, I will leave the decision to my kids whether or not they want to take over the business. Because at the end of the day, if they do take over, it's their decision and it's their life. <laughs>